Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Today we are looking at some pennies that sold in 2020, 2020. So this year they just sold in the last three months. And we're going to look at why these pennies actually sold for what they did. So let's just hop right into it. Don't forget to go check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel where I show you guys what coins and what dollar bills to look for from the bank or even in your pocket change. All right, so starting off first. This coin here sold for over $500, even in this condition. You can see that it is not in very great condition at all. It's got environmental damage, but this is a very rare penny. It is a 1909S VDB. Now in 1909, there was all kinds of different pennies. I've done a whole video on the 1909 penny, so just type in 1909 penny here on YouTube and you'll find that video. But this specific penny, the 1909 SVDB, they only produced 484,000 of those coins. So no matter really the condition of the coin, they are always going to sell. But the better the condition, the more the value can go up. And I'm talking the value on these can increase to tens of thousands if it's a very, very high grade. So because these coins are so famous, there is a lot of fakes out there. There's a fake S mint mark right here that someone put on the 1909 VDB without the S mint mark. So there is another VDB without the S mint mark, but someone altered an S mint mark on here to be a 1909 S VDB. So it's fake. And then also some people on the 1909 S penny, they will put a fake VDB on the back. And that's gonna be on the reverse on the bottom of the coin. So there are counterfeits out there, a lot of fakes, beware of those. The bottom one here is the genuine VDB, the top one is the fake VDB. So be careful with that, $500 for that penny. Next up is a 1911 S mint mark. Now this coin is graded at an AU58, so decent grade. It's not mint state, but it's pretty close. Uh, mint state starts at 60. Now this coin here sold for over $160. You know, had it been a higher grade, it would have sold for a lot more. If it was a worse grade, it would have sold for a lot less. They did produce a little over 4 million of those coins. Now here is a 1914 D mint mark. Now they only produced around 1.1 million of the 1914 D. And you can see that compared to the 75 million that they produced for the 1914 no mint mark. So this 1914 D here is only graded at a very good 10. So it's got a very low grade. It's not in good condition at all, but the coin still sold for over $140. Not too bad for that wheat penny there, 140 bucks. And again, if you get these in a mint state grade, they're going to go for thousands. Now here is the famous 1922 wheat penny. Now there is a lot to look for in the 1922. Again, just type in 1922 penny here on YouTube and you'll find that video. Now in 1922, they only produced the D mint mark. So there was no other mint marks, uh, only the D mint mark was produced. However, there are 1922s out there with a no D. So. This is the case here with this coin. It is graded at an AU50, so not the best, but not the worst by any means. So it's got the no D and it's got a strong reverse. I explained the strong reverse in my 1922 penny video, so check that out. This coin sold for over $2,500. That's right, over a $2,000 penny. And they produced around 7.1 million of these coins. Now here's an even more expensive version of that coin, the 1922 No D. It's got the strong reverse, and this coin sold for over $4,500. $4,000. It's got that grade of an AU55 as well, so that's going to help its value, uh, of course. So always, you know, check your coins. If you guys buy coin collections from people, always look out for these types of pennies. Now here is a 1931S, that is another key date to look for in your wheat pennies. Now they only produced 866,000 of the 1931S wheat penny. So they're going to be valuable, 
um, even in rough condition, they're gonna sell. You know, they might not sell for thousands, but this case here, this coin sold for over $85 and it's only graded at an extra fine 45. So not too bad for that coin, but again, mint state versions of those coins sell for thousands of dollars. Now here is a 1944D. Now they produced a lot of these coins. They actually produced over 430 million of the 1944D. So they are not valuable in terms of how many they actually produced. This coin is graded at an extra fine 45, so it's not a mint state grade. But what gives this coin value is that it has an over mint mark. So it has a D over an S mint mark. Now here's an example of what you wanna look for on the 1944. You see that S at the top there above the D, and then it wraps into the D mint mark. So the D is over the S. Here is another example of that with the S going through the D. So always be on the lookout for that. I have coin microscopes on couchcollectibles.com. That way you guys can see your coins up close like this. Now this coin sold for a little over $75, so nothing too valuable. Had it been a much higher grade, it would have sold for a lot more money. Now the famous 1955 double die. This did sell here in 2020. This coin is absolutely amazing, man. One of the most famous coins out there. Absolutely love this coin. Boy, would I love to have one in my collection. Graded at an extra fine 45. Now again, if you find a 1955 double die like this, uh, they are going to sell no matter the condition of the coin. This coin sold for over $1,300, over a thousand bucks. Could you imagine coming across one of those? Now here's an example of the 1955 up close. You can see that it is extremely doubled. Uh, man, I just love that. Probably one of my favorite coins of all time. That, the 1969 double die, and the 1972. Here's a 1956 wheat penny that sold this year. It's actually not a wheat penny, I guess. It's a 1951 that was struck on a 10 cent planchet. So it weighs 2.5 grams, graded at an extra fine 40. Uh, you know, this type of error is going to give your coin some value. In some cases, a lot of value. This coin sold for over $370. But if we look at this coin here, this coin sold for over $2,800, nearly a $3,000 coin. And this wasn't struck on a dime. This was actually overstruck on a 1958 Cuba one centavos coin. So that is really, really awesome. Here on the front of the coin, you can actually see the design of the centavos coin on the shoulder of Lincoln there. And then here on the reverse, we see that as well. We see the date 1958 going through there. Really amazing type of error. Man, this is a coin I would love to have in my collection as well. Almost a $3,000 coin. Now here is a 1972 double die obverse. Now this penny here is absolutely amazing, man. Look at that doubling there on that coin. This coin is graded at a Met State 65 red, so of course that is going to give it a lot of value as well. This coin sold for over $650 with that Met State 65 grade. Here's an up close image of what that doubling looks like. Uh, an example of that on the 1972 double die obverse. You wanna look for that there on the date as well, 1972 itself. So always be on the lookout for the 1972, 69, 55. Those are the most famous ones out there. But I do have other videos uh, as well that show you tons of other ones to look for. So here is, you know, one of my favorite coins of this video because it's almost a $5,000 penny. This penny actually sold for over $4,800 and it is a 1983 Lincoln penny that was struck on a bronze planchet. So these coins here are supposed to only weigh 2.5 grams. They're supposed to be zinc in 1983, and this coin was struck on a bronze planchet that weighs 3.1 grams. So the easiest way to tell is just to weigh every single 1983 penny you have. If you have one that weighs around 3.1 grams, you might be in for some money because it is not supposed to weigh that. That's why this coin sold for nearly $5,000. I mean, that is just incredible. Such an easy thing to look for. I have coin scales, again, on couchcollectibles.com. 
I weigh absolutely every single 1983 penny that I come across. But let's move on to another penny here. This is the 1995 double die obverse. Now here's an example of what that doubling looks like on the 1995 penny. So always be on the lookout for that. Now this coin only sold for around $130. So not too bad, but it does have a very, very high grade, which gives it a lot of value as well. A Mint State 68 red grade. Getting close to a perfect grade there. A perfect grade would be a Mint State 70. So always be on the lookout for that as well. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.